What do Rome and Chicago have in common? They both have busy streets and a lot of people, but their pizza is anything but similar. Chicago's famous deep dish pizza would be almost impossible to find strolling along the ancient streets of Rome, but a new restaurant entirely owned and operated by Loyola students has somehow connected these two cities, 4,832 miles away. A few years ago, some Loyola students came back from Loyola's John Felice Rome Center with an idea in mind. Why not bring their most mouth-watering memory of thin crust pizza to Chicago? So after about 10 months of preparation, in February of 2012, Felice's, the only ever student-run and managed pizzeria in the nation, opened its doors to the public. What, we, what that means is any financial issue we deal with, um, if, if there were a fire in the kitchen, we would be the ones that were called to deal with it. Um, all employee issues, any kind of thing. What started off as a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity studying abroad became an historic accomplishment for students and entrepreneurs in the Loyola community. Everyone from the top management, including those who handle the finances and hiring, to the pizza artisans who make everything in-house, are all students. This innovative atmosphere allows for Loyola students to get real hands-on experience about how to operate a business. So I learned that you need to have open communication, and even though we are all students and peers, you do have to remain professional. It's not like, you know, because you're working for a student-run pizza place, you can slack off and just do whatever you want. It still is a business. We still have to make money, just like anyone else. Sir. But another reason Felice's is so extraordinary is the family aspect. Our employees here aren't just employees to us. They're, they're our friends. I mean, you know, you love, uh, you love everyone here. It's hard not to, so you want to help them out, which I right. think is what differentiates us from, like, five guys or another business. Something even more unique about an entirely run student business is the varied majors of the employees. It's just like a multitude, and it's cool because, like, we have some bio students, and bio is one of those majors that's really intensive, nursing too, and um, especially with them, like, we try to help them out uh, if they need extra study time and can't take a shift. Working as a student can be hard, but an entire organization employed by students can be even more challenging. Melissa told me Felice's uses a private Facebook page to manage everyone's schedules. Felice's takes pride in the fact that their food is made fresh and homemade every day, including the standard pizzas like cheese and pepperoni to specialty pizzas like mac and cheese. Also, homemade soups like their minestrone and tomato bisque prove to be very popular. They also offer a variety of fresh salads every day. But beyond the kitchen, since it is recognized as a Loyola establishment, fundraising is done to attract the non-Loyola community to come through their doors as well. Or even to attract more Loyola customers, Felice's will team up with Loyola's Greek life on campus. Because everyone that comes in with a fundraising flyer, 20% of all um, proceeds from that fundraiser um, are taken from our revenue and given to them. First and foremost, the administration team at Felice's understands that everyone working there is a student and that is the most important thing. Unlike most businesses, keeping the business up and running is important, but keeping an undergraduate degree is why they are really here. You know, while we love making pizza, we also would love to get a degree and, yeah. you know, maybe not make pizza <laughs> for the that. rest of our lives. Yeah. We're open until 2 <laughs> yeah. Still, we get things done, but we have a good time doing it. Good. 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 Good.